It would be interesting to know what it is specifically he objects to in TPP, because a lot of the things that he said he wants to deal with, including, by the way, that 100 percent tariff on Harley Davidson motorcycles he just mentioned, that was eliminated in TPP. And so was raising labor standards in Mexico and Vietnam and putting disciplines on state-owned enterprises. So it'd be interesting to find out what, what, what he specifically objects to. He's got some misunderstanding of the deal. He, he mentioned to Joe that one reason he doesn't like uh, TPP is you couldn't pull out of it if, you didn't, if it wasn't working. That's simply not true. It's got the same ability to pull out of TPP as it did out of NAFTA. And so uh, hopefully he'll get uh, uh, briefed on what's actually in it and how it works. And if he's got specific items to renegotiate, it'll be interesting to see if the other countries are willing to engage with them on that. Well, Michael, what is the ability of the United States to reinsert itself into TPP at this point now that, I mean, the pr Prime Minister of Canada went to Davos to announce the finalization of the TPP agreement that had been reached days earlier? Has the ship sailed? No, the, the other countries very much want the U.S. to be back in the agreement. And as they move forward, the other 11 of them, they've done so in a way to keep it, the door open to the United States. In fact, they took about 20 provisions of TPP that were particularly important to the United States and said, if the U.S. rejoins, those provisions will go into effect. So there is a process there for the U.S. to rejoin if it's really serious about doing so. Philip, uh, the Times this week said there are 35 new bilateral or regional trade packs under consideration around the world. This is coming out of Davos uh, via the WTO, and that the U.S. is party to one of them, and that negotiations are dormant on that one. One of 35. Would you expect that number to go higher? Uh, boy, I, I sure like it to be, and, and like Michael, I, I'd, like us to, to, I'd like to see us re-engage in uh, the TPP. It, it, it's hard to see that happening really uh, anytime soon, I and mean, the president's got to make his decision on NAFTA and drive whatever bargain he's going to do there to, to get the Canadians and Mexicans to, you know, to, to do what he's, he's looking to do. Um, I, you know, to me, a, a trade negotiation president is more of a second term, right? If President Trump has a second term, I, I could see him then engaging in that. Um, for, for this term, the next year, two years, I, I'd really like to see someone in the administration make the point about the benefits of trade for the U.S. You know, obviously in the Trumpian way, but to be that messenger in the way that Michael was for the uh, Obama administration and point out the gains from trade for the United States. Are you getting the message from the, from the administration, though, uh, Bill, that, that they are anti-trade by, by the body language, so to speak, of the administration? I mean, they, he says that he wants trade. He just wants bilateral, uh, reciprocal trade. I mean, is, isn't that a fair case to make? Yeah, it, it's a fair trade. Um, the body language until now has been pretty anti-trade. And that's why I agree with, uh, with, with what you said earlier in the program, that yesterday's interview with, with Joe and, and today's speech was, was really a nice change. It was a big change. It was news that the president is slightly less anti-trade and making more of this, this trade-off. That's a much better message, and I hope we see it continue. Um, Michael, just curious, given at least there seems to be an opening here, and you sort of suggest that it would be possible if the U.S. reengaged. Have you heard anything to indicate that? Has anybody reached out to you for your expertise and having put together the original agreement to try to understand it from the current administration? Well, I think everyone was a little bit surprised by the comments uh, yesterday and today, and certainly it's gotten the attention of the other TPP countries. You know, I think Phil is right. A lot will depend on how the administration handles the NAFTA negotiations. If the administration blows up NAFTA, either by tabling poison pill proposals or by withdrawing the U.S., no other country in the world is going to want to engage in the US, with the U.S. in bilateral or multilateral negotiations. So everyone's looking very closely at these negotiations right now on the renegotiation of NAFTA. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.